numbering is a common activity in Word. We know how to do it. If you type one dot space, it starts numbering. Similarly, if you type asterisk and space, it starts bullets. The problem is if I already have data and now I want to apply numbering using a keyboard shortcut, that's a problem because numbering itself does not have a keyboard shortcut. Bullets also does not have a shortcut. The usual method for creating a shortcut is right click on it and say add to quick access toolbar. If you press and release alt, it's alt five. But that opens the gallery. It doesn't apply numbering. That's the problem. So here is the solution. Right click on the ribbon, click on customize the ribbon. At the bottom, you will see customize again. Here you will see lots of commands. Go to the home tab and search for this command. It's called numbering gallery. It doesn't have a shortcut associated with it, but we can apply it. So click in this text box and type the shortcut you want. I'm using control Q. It tells you that it's already assigned to something, which is okay. Reset para is not a very common thing. And then you close the term. Click OK. And now control Q will apply numbering and remove it. If you want a similar shortcut for applying bullets, go to home tab, bullets gallery and choose another one. I'm going to use control two, assign and that's it. So now control two is bullets. It's a toggle. So control two again will remove it and control Q is number toggle. While we are at it, if you want a new paragraph, but you don't want a new number, remember to press shift enter. That's called new line. Enter is new paragraph. Shift enter is new line. And how do you know what is what? You click on this button in home tab, show hide hidden characters. This icon means just a new line, not new paragraph. And this one means new line and new paragraph. Now here is another scenario. We have one, two, three, four, but that's not actually numbering. It has just come from some text. Now, if you select this and apply numbering, it's not going to work. So here is a smart way of removing it. Click just before one, press the Alt key and drag. This leads to vertical selection, Control X to cut it. And now you can apply numbering. That's it for now. See you next time. Thank you.